Uh, and then the second and more exciting piece of news, I think, is uh, there's been a Project L update. And if you don't remember from Riot's 10-year anniversary a year ago, a year and a half yeah. ago, um, Project L is their fighting game. So yeah, they've 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 come out with uh, with you, you know uh, an update talking about the the uh, the the difficulties in making it, the the things that they're trying to to do with it, and they showed off some gameplay, which is honestly what we're all here for. Um, it looked super super good, uh, kind of like a, a a tag fighter similar to uh, I don't know Fighter Z is probably like the most well known comparison at this point. Yeah. It, it looks fucking great though. Like they all, yeah, like them announcing it's a tag fighter is the first time we've heard that too. So that's kind of cool to see. Uh, I really wasn't sure what direction they were going to go in with that, but I think tag fighter works really well with League of legends uh-huh. IP. Yeah. It's, it's a tag fighter and it's 2d. I think those are right. Like the, the big defining and then yeah. tag definitely would be first. Um, but it, it looked good. We saw a couple of the characters. Obviously there's going to be much more in the roster. Yeah, we've seen Echo, Jinx, Ari, and Darius as the four so far. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, fucking Echo might be one of the coolest fucking fighting game characters I've ever seen. He has, like, little, like, rewind mechanics that you can do, and it looks so crazy for mix-ups. I'm so fucking excited. Super sick. Definitely, like, he, oh, he reminds me so much of, oh, is it, um, Zero from Ultimate Marvel? Oh, yeah, yeah, I I think, I think so. I'm not sure fully. I haven't watched too much Ultimate Marvel, but... Someone from, I think, Mega Man, but looks super, super cool. Definitely very cool. Um, lots of interesting, like, assists that they showed off, and, and they showed off some, like, abilities, but looked super, super cool. Just the movement looks so sick, man. It looks, it looks fast. <laughs> uh, I'm excited. I, like, I'm definitely not good at fighting games. I've never really been good at fighting games, but yeah. this is a game that I will try my best to get good at, and uh, hopefully I can get gold. My goal, goal is to get gold in all of uh, Riot's games, so uh, <laughs> it'd be cool. I, I, I think this is going to be such a fun game to uh, to have, like, uh, like spoilers, uh, community nights for Mm-hmm. Um, we just have like a giant like tournament, not a not a tournament, mm-hmm. but uh, like a lobby of just like one v ones for everyone and and everyone spectates. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna say that would be so fun. Where if you were just like in a channel with like twelve people and it's like, all right, Nick V Pars, let's go, and everyone else is just spectating, talking shit. They have like um, I know Tekken had this where it was just like a, a lobby and everyone would be in it, and you know certain people would fight and you fight until you lose. And it would mm-hmm. just rotate through everyone. I think that would be so fun. Yeah. I also, uh, once again, the I only other thing. exhausting Project L2. <laughs> yeah. The only other thing to note is that uh, about netcode and stuff. So it's not officially rollback netcode, which we've been seeing an uprising in rollback, which is like overall really good. Uh, but that being said, Riot's like overall like network infrastructure is probably the best among any like game company out there so i have no doubt that the net code is going to be good uh mm-hmm. it's not going to be shitty like peer-to-peer or anything it's going to be like servers but like it sounds like it's going to be optimized really well i mean we have no issues playing any other league of legends game online uh people don't complain about valorant uh, online at all it seems mm-hmm. like the server matching and stuff like that's good so uh, i have no no worries about them having good net code for this game so yeah and, and they made that a really big point in that video was like Hey, we're working on the game. There's there's not a release date, like, but here are the, like our priorities, and one of them is netcode for good reason. It it really matters in a fighting game. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess the only so, other thing to bring up is that yeah, they said it won't be out next year. It won't be out 2022, meaning it probably is going to be 2023. Uh, but they will have two a uh, minimum of two announcements. Uh, like next year, like updates, like twice throughout the year. So that's cool. Mm, I'm nice. really excited. Well, hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll get like a, at least a beta next year. Yeah. I could see us getting a beta at the end of the year, kind of like what Valorant yeah. did, where it was like beta at the end of the year. Then the game came out like beginning of the next year, I believe, uh, yeah. which is fine by me. So yep, great. That would be super fun. Awesome. 